So in order not to have an odd number of complete pairs of shoes, you must either have zero, two, or four complete pairs. Let's have a look at each one in turn. So case one, she has zero pairs. Well, therefore, she must have chosen all eight shoes from 10 different pairs, which is 10 C8. And she could have chosen the right or the left shoe, which is two C1 to the power of eight. Uh, case two is that they are two pairs of shoes. Okay, so she would have chosen two pairs from the 10 pairs, which is 10 C2, which means that the other four shoes she would have had to choose from the eight pairs left, and she could have chosen the right or the left there, so it would be 2 C1 to the power of four. And case three would be all four pairs she chose. Well, that's quite simple. That one is just simply... 10c4. So the probability we have to add all these up is 10c8 times by 2 to the power of 8 at 10c2 times 8c4 times 2 to the power of 4 at 10c4 all over the total number of ways of picking 8 shoes from 20 which is 20c8 and when we work all that out it gives us 0.4932 which is answer D.